yesterday kind of had a lot to do uh, and uh, I also I also slept in like quite a bit I slept in bigly as it were uh, I just kind of needed a little little rest and a uh, little R&R &R there let me just tilt this camera just up there we go ah, there we are right ah crap there we go that's what I was looking for okay right there I think we'll do uh, today we're going with Colette Baron Reed's the good tarot because you know it is straight up tarot Tuesday and we only do tarot on those days uh, just kind of had a lot to do I had to do some grocery shopping which was really really put off due to work that sort of thing That takes a little while and of course it's putting them away and you know doing all the things plus I had to do a few other things and by the time it came around yeah it was quite late in the day but uh, I did do a live stream last night so I hung out with some of you on high notes and uh, had a great time so to those who showed up to those who hung out with me for a little while, thank you so much for showing up. Of course, everybody got a little, uh, got a little something there, just as a, a gift, a little card pull, if you will. Just us telling stories, having a few laughs, having some tea, and doing the cards, which is what we're going to do today. And then, of course, you know, after I do this. I'll start editing this down, and while that's doing its thing, I'm going to be on high notes doing single card pulls, which I didn't also did not do yesterday. Again, my apologies for that. I would hope to never do that again. Alright, so your significator for today messenger of fire now this card again I'm not exactly familiar with how uh, Colette Baron Reed does these with hers I do know that she has kind of relabeled some cards so I think the messengers are the knights and they are but this one is sort of the Knight of Wands. So, you have an unstoppable spirit. You can co-create all that you desire. You're illuminated by the wisdom that rises up within you. You're set forth on a path to innovate. Trust your vision and act accordingly. Remain true to what you value most and desire, which can manifest in many forms. So, you're a little headstrong. But you're determined for a new adventure. You're determined to innovate and make independent creative action. And you're very spirited today. That's a great place to start. Definite 
definitely a little Taurus energy there because we're also a little bullheaded, a little stubborn. We're a little headstrong. Nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you temper it a little bit. We've got King of Earth. We've got a Six of Air. So a Six of Swords. And we also got a King of Air. Wow. Holy smokes. Already starting off with the material and, of course, thought. But you have reason over instinct. And, of course, you're also going with uh, grounded action. Uh, grounded action's everything right now. But you have the ability to track that, attract that abundant wealth. And you're, you're reliable. You're reliable there in your mind. But also you have reason over instinct. You do have intellect over passion. You do have successful negotiation skills at your disposal. And finally in there... Aha, so that's Six of Swords. This is the... So this is your, this is your ability to attract wealth. That's your financial mastery of sorts. Sort of that you know what needs to be done, go ahead and do it. But you also have a new, a new journey to undertake. And you have the ability to rein in your passions with your intellect. So you're using logical thought for that kind of thing. Um... Looking at this, I'm seeing some people in crypto right now. And I saw this over Twitter yesterday and rolled my eyes so hard that I saw the backs of I saw the back of my skull. And it was, oh, what happened? Uh, crypto was supposed to be this great thing. It was supposed to be the greatest thing ever. What happened? Well, let me tell you. since someone wanted to get a little screwy. So here, here <coughs> is the ability to attract, to attract wealth. Now, that means that you have to do certain things. You have to take some grounded action here. If you're thinking about getting into it, now's a good time. That is not financial advice, that is just an observation. And let's go with some intellect. Shall we? Let's go with a little logic. Let me tell you exactly what's going on with crypto. <clears throat> so what's going on with crypto is simply this. Nothing goes up in a straight line. It doesn't matter whether it's stocks, bonds, futures, crypto, gold, silver, none of that matters. What matters is, is that occasionally when you have this huge uptick, there's going to be what's called a correction. And the further it goes, the faster it goes, the more it's going to bounce later. And that has happened before. It will happen again. Let me give you some perspective on this. Last year, around this time, the SEC announced that it would be suing Ripple, claiming that its XRP token was a security. However, many of us knew Ripple had been working for eight years plus with the SEC, had been begging them to give them rules, some kind of clarity so that they could per then pursue their projects here in the U.S. Most of their business is conducted abroad. And the former chair of the SEC, on his way out, performed what I like to call a bitch move. He did nothing of the kind. He did not honor a single request. And he slapped them with that lawsuit. And in his mind, it was like what um, BitBoy Crypto was initially saying. That any time the government takes you to court, the government is going to win. Well, not in that case. In the year since, 
Now, once that happened, the price of XRP plummeted. And then, something interesting happened. All these people who said it was dead, all these people who said it would go away and it would never be coming back, suddenly the price began to spike again. And it reached almost two, instead of mere pennies on the dollar, now it reached almost two dollars per token. It has retraced, it has come back down below a dollar, and if you're thinking about buying it, yesterday was actually the best entry point, today is not a bad one. I've since stopped buying crypto, I'm just holding what I've got. But this has happened before. In March of 2020, the price crashed from 25 cents all the way to 11. I was there, I saw it. Bitcoin crashed to about $5,000. Go back and look at March of 2020. Look at how the prices crashed. Many people lost their shirts because they decided to sell at the bottom. What we're seeing now is not that. Right now we're seeing Bitcoin at about $50,000. And that was as of this morning when I checked. So no, this isn't the great crash. This is a correction. And they happen. So, if you're all hardwired about trying to get Raven to sell out, and you're all hardwired to mock Raven for his uh, investment uh, opportunities, fine. I don't care. I also have some silver, and if you're thinking about getting into silver, it's a, you know, silver, gold, that sort of thing. That's not a bad investment either. But remember, think with your intellect here. Don't get too emotional about this. It's still a journey, not a destination. For the physical, looking at strength, a nine of cups, or nine of water, and a five of pentacles. Physical strength. Strength is not popping up in your um, in your mental aspect here. It's popping up in your physical. And I think today is a very, very good day to work on that physical strength if you can. Do some yoga, do some exercises, do some of this, that, and the third. You will be happy you did it. But you can know the di you can go the distance. You have the courage to manifest miracles, and you're strong enough to move mountains and overcome any obstacle at this moment. At nine of water, nines are always a good card. This is the happiness and exhilaration that you're seeking currently. But we also have a little bit of struggle here. Now this again, this being earth, this being coins, this being the physical, I can definitely see some uh, some definite struggle. That's not the worst thing in the world that can happen. But here's the thing, it's the illusion of lacking. But you're overlooking something because you do have alternative alternative forms of abundance around you. Because not everything is as it seems. So it's time to look again. A change of perception can bring into focus the results that you seek. Remember what I was saying with this king of with this king of air, this intellect, we're looking at this as well. I can see this pointing at these these cards here. Again, you have to look at it from a slightly different point of view and understand that not everything is lost. Just because your crypto is down doesn't mean that you've lost out. It just means that right now, if you're thinking of selling, don't. Hold on. Just hold what you have, and you're bound to see some really interesting results. Sort of like what happened with my cup just now.
can see the colors change if I tilt the uh, liquid a certain way. It's still a cup, still holds my OT. And that tea is still good. So is yours. So for the spiritual, you see that Four of Swords there, and that Four of Air. We also have a Knight of Swords, so very, very quick action. And we also have a Hermit, which means we need to turn inward a little bit there. But that Four, that four of Air is talking about rest and recuperation. So if you're thinking about taking a, a little bit, bit of a break from your spiritual practice, nobody would fault you for that. I took a little bit of a break from my spiritual practice yesterday. Now I'm feeling a little better. It doesn't feel like such a... There are days where your spiritual practice, which may light you up, feels like a burden. Right? Oh my goodness, i got to go through this, that, and the third. got to do this, that, and the other. That's going to happen. Key thing to remember is, take a break. You don't have to do it all the time. Sometimes setting a little limit on yourself will actually help too. Do it five days a week, do it once a month, that sort of thing. <clears throat> I decided to uh, give uh, the relationship between myself and the gods a little bit of a break. You know, didn't make an offering, didn't do anything of that sort. I did do the candle and incense offering, I do that every day. But now you have this quick uh, action. with that uh, Knight of Swords or Messenger of Air as it's called. And when you have that, it's important to remember something. This is your opinion formed by experience, but you're also adhering to a little bit of a dogma. You're being a little dogmatic in allegiance to a way of thinking or acting, a learned response, subconscious programming and swift reactions or responses. But you do need to broaden your perspective a little. If you're reacting to a situation from your past, you have to think about whether or not you want to do the things the old way or respond differently this time. See, the thing is you can adapt. Adapt to a new way of thinking and behaving. You're swift, you can move quickly and ensure your actions are for the highest good, positive outcomes, and that sort of thing. And then we have the hermit. And that's pointing right at that four, of air, that four of Air card. Because the Hermit is all about making, uh, making a little time for yourself. Sometimes it's necessary to take time for regrouping and introspection. It's a temporary experience. So step back, retreat, regroup, renew. And then you can get a clearer perspective on just about any and everything. So right now I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the person who is making those financial decisions. There are a lot of creative ways to make yourself very wealthy, and there's nothing wrong with that. But remember, you also need to take care of your health. I can see that with strength. You have to be able to endure those diets, endure those exercises, and things like that. And it will seem like you're losing time that you could be doing doing something else right there with that five. But the key thing to remember is you can have all the wealth accumulated in the world, but if your health is shit, you're going to spend every, every penny you've ever gotten just to get that back. And then you're right back where you started. I have no idea what that sound is, but it sounds like it's coming from all around me. Okay, it's going away. Anyway, so in summary, just remember that not everything is as it seems. Right now, the loss is not exactly a loss. For some reason, Joe Guerrero from After Prison Show and uh, Joe Does Stuff is coming to mind pretty heavily. Not all is lost. Just remember, keep some perspective. Take your actions based on that. 
don't be so headstrong. Draw on your past experiences, but don't be dogmatic. Take a break. Take some time to look a little inward. Take some time off. And come back with a fresh new perspective and a better and another way of doing things. Possibly even a better way of doing things. In any case, that's everything I have for you this morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate all of you. I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. Come join me on High Notes. I'm going to do some single card pulls from this very deck and others. So if you're missing that spirit animal, you're missing the rune of the week, you're missing uh, your spirit guide and all that good stuff, come over to High Notes. Let's hang out for a little bit. I'll probably be doing about six or seven videos, and I'll do them for you. And as always, my friends, shine on. occurred to me we had all four elements today all of them we had earth we had air yeah right here so we had earth air fire and of course water that's a uh, pretty interesting because one of my favorite cards is that of the magician and the magician tends to master all of his elements I'm surprised the magician didn't pop up today. But maybe it's not time for us to do that kind of work. You know, sometimes we can um, we can do all kinds of things. We can master our craft and do it to its utmost every day. But uh, guess what? We're still inhabiting these physical bodies. They all need the occasional respite, don't they? Can't just be go, 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 I'll sleep when I'm dead, go, 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 You know, can't do that all the time. That's the kind of thing that will get you into trouble. It'll ruin your health. It will absolutely ruin it. So my question to you is... How are you alchemizing your elements today? Because you got all four of them in your spread. And what that means is, how are you putting them together? He just knocked over that piece of tourmaline. I think he's hungry. <laughs> he wants to be fed early. Yeah, I'll do that in just a few. That way I can uh, do those high notes videos without a worry. Uh, there we go again. In any case, got that deck ready for the high notes video. I'm going to stick it right in the box for the time being. So how do you get your elements together. What are you going to do today that makes you a little bit better than yesterday? Better question, what kind of perspective, what kind of perspective are you working with? I hope that you'll join me on High Notes. That's H-I-N-O-T-E-S. I'm also going to be posting some other videos today. Um, 
excuse me, my buddy Stein from the tribe of the Greyhorn Pagans actually took some, uh, he made some video clips from uh, not this past live stream last night, but the one before that, the Saturday night live stream. And I'll be posting those as a sort of high notes of high notes. I may even make a video for the uh, channels out of them. Just something to do. Something for fun. Because one thing you never really get to see is how much fun I have because the camera's not on me that much. You get to see my hands and feet. But when I'm live streaming on high notes, I'm still laying out here on, the, on a mat just like this. But I'm also looking at you and interacting with you. So I hope that you'll join me. Watch this. Boop. <laughs> boop. <laughs> so boops is traditions. Boops is everything. <laughs>